Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, welcome to the channel. My name is Renee. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. I appreciate you being here. I hope while you're here, if you haven't joined Nene's Glam Squad, you'll go down below, hit that subscribe button, turn up that notification bell. That way you can get notified of any and all future uploads, especially when I do giveaways. I would really appreciate you giving my video a thumbs up. It lets YouTube know that you enjoy seeing my content gets my videos pushed out there so other people might be able to find me too. And leave a comment, say hi, let me know that you stopped by. I'd love to hear from you guys. Today is Get Ready With Me Wednesday. We do this every week, me and my girl Kat that live down in Florida. Hey Kat, I hope you had a great week and I'm looking forward to seeing your new video. I really enjoyed your vlog videos while you were in the Keys. Uh, making me wanna take a little trip, I'm just saying. Her link is always down in my description box, so make sure you go over, check her out, say hi, let her know that I told you to stop by. All right, without further ado, let's get into this video. We're gonna be using some new ColourPop, as you've probably guessed from the thumbnail and the title. So don't go anywhere, I'll be right back. Hey, hey guys, welcome back. So. I don't have a complete full face of ColourPop. So we're gonna use what I have in ColourPop and fill in the blanks where I don't. So I don't have any ColourPop face primer. So I used my Tacho, which I've really been enjoying you guys. I, I really like it, I really do. I, I think it's great, I'm just saying. Um, but I do have ColourPop foundation and concealer. I was trying to figure out, do I want to do my eyes first or do I want to do my face? I think we'll do my face first. So I have this foundation in, it's light. Might be a little light for me, but that's okay. We can always add some color to my face with some bronzer and blush and such. Oh yeah, she's really light, you guys. Really, really light. But that's okay. That's okay. We will make it work. I hope you guys are all doing well. I'm hanging in there. Today is Wednesday the 8th when I'm filming this. Today I had another massage. I had one last week. I don't know how I ended up with one last week and one this week because I usually do them every other week. But it's a good thing I did because I really needed it last week after horseback riding and um, I'm still a little tight in my muscles even now um, when I went in today yeah I'm, my muscles are a little jacked up right now so and then I went to the post office because I had to send my um, my giveaway win for Monique, I'll insert her channel name up here, but she won the giveaway that I did with Lori Latimer for our collab video. And uh, so I sent that out today. I'm super excited for her to get it. And I went to the store and picked up a few things and then I was pretty much lazy the rest of the day. And I'm kind of filming this later at night because I just didn't feel like doing anything today. I was being lazy and that's okay, you know? You can always take a break from time to time when you need to. You guys, I look so pale. Hmm, it's okay. I've used it before and it worked, so we're gonna make it work. I do think I need like maybe a couple shades darker. All right, now that we got that down, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my ColourPop No Filter Concealer, and this is in the shade Light 12. So I'm just gonna put a little bit here. On my forehead, down my nose, right by my Cupid's bow, smile lines, and the chin and then we'll blend this all out. Tomorrow, I'm gonna to be going with Tish because she wants to film her workout. So I'm gonna to go to the gym with her and uh, help her do that. 
So be looking out on her channel for that video if it isn't already up. But if it is already up, you can still go check it out. Okay, I got the concealer down. Now I got this ColourPop. This lid is like kind of jacked up. This is ColourPop No Filter Setting Loose Setting Banana Powder. So I'm gonna use this to set my face. See, look, it's kind of messy. But the lid is kind of like, I don't know, it's weird. It like doesn't screw on properly. I'm gonna use this to set the face. the powder down. I don't have any ColourPop bronzer. I don't think I have any blush either. So I'm going to go ahead and use my Benefit Cheek Leaders bronzer and blush and highlight palette that I got um, in my Busy Beauty Store PR box. I'm just going to use the bronzer and the blush though and then I'll come back and we're going to use a ColourPop highlighter. So don't go anywhere. Okay guys, I'm back. I went ahead and did my blush and bronzer, of course, and I went and did my eyebrows. I used my e.l.f. taupe brow pencil and my Benefit 24 hour brow setter. So now let's get into the eyes. The only thing is I'm not sure what palette to use, but I definitely want to use this um, Agave Bloom Cream Shadow. I want to use this to set my lid. Uh, brush what brush what brush to use I think I'm gonna use this bling flat brush and this is e4 I believe is what it says don't quote me on that because you know without my glasses my eyes are crap when it comes to reading these labels so my sister came over today and she brought me some East Coast treats because by the way I did get this in my mystery box if you haven't seen that video and don't know where I got this from, it was in my mystery box. Um, my sister went back east for my cousin's wedding. He got married um, this weekend, this last weekend. And um, I really wanted to go, but I just, I couldn't, you know, swing that. And I wanna go to my high school reunion in November. And I'd like to make a trip to Vegas in February. And my son wants to go to Great Wolf Lodge in December for his birthday. So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do all of it with everything that's going on right now. You know what I mean? Like, it's getting like crazy. Crazy scary. Just a little bit. I know I, I got to live my life still, but it's, it's still a little scary. So that was a, like, I don't even know if you can see the color, but it's just a really nice, I think, transition shade or, or something to use to set your lids to get them ready for your shadows. Now, the really tough question. I got this from Teresa Starship for our Christmas in July. And then I got these in my ColourPop mystery box. I just don't know which one I want to use today. I really want to get into this wine and only, but I think I'm going to save this for my next get ready with me. And I'm going to try and stick with stuff that came in my ColourPop mystery box. So I want to do purple. I think I'm going to use the five star Island because it's got like pinky colors in it. And if you don't know, these are like themed off of animal crossing, which I don't, really know what Animal Crossing is, like a game, I guess. Um, this is what the palette looks like. It's really cute. So we're going to dig into these colors. I think I'm going to use the Island Tune, which is this shade right here, and I'm going to put that in my crease. But what was I saying? Oh, my sister brought me some East Coast treats. She brought me Tasty Cakes, and I love Tasty Cakes because she was able to go back for my cousin's wedding. And it was so cool. They had the mother-son dance um, because it was my cousin Ray that got married and um, his dad, my uncle, passed away about 
um, was it three years maybe? Um, so they were in the middle of the dance and then there's like a scratch and this other, the next song that comes on is Brown Sugar and it's my uncle singing. And so him and his mom and his sisters were like dancing like he would dance when he was singing it, you know? So you just had to see it. It was really cute and it was really touching and I actually got teary eyed watching it and I felt kind of really bad and sad that I wasn't there to enjoy it, you know? There is, I think there's glitter in this bad boy because I can see it on my eyes. So if you're not like a, a glitter, a glitter girl or glitter boy, then you might not want to use that. Cause yeah, it's, there's glitter all over my lid, which I don't, I don't mind, but I'm just letting you guys know that that's something that I noticed. I didn't realize there was going to be glitter in it. So it just kind of surprised me. Like I said, it doesn't bother me, but it might bother somebody else. This is a really pretty color and I think it's going down really well. I'm just kind of trying to play with it a little bit and make it look exactly the way I want. It looked like it was a really great wedding anyway. I'm sorry I missed it. My sister got to visit my grandma, which was really nice. It was a really great picture and I'm glad she went when she did because my aunt just posted that all the um, assisted living homes are on lockdown again. So nobody is going to be able to go visit my grandma right now with everything that's going on. So that kind of sucks because you know, she's 96 years old and she's in a, a place that she doesn't feel comfortable in, you know? She lived in her house for 40 plus years in the same house, you know? So now she's like with a bunch of strangers and your family can't even come see you. Now, what do I want to do on the lid? I think I'm going to go in with Island Designer. I'm going to use this one right here and I'm going to put that on my lid. Whoa. That is freaking sparkly. I like it though. I like it a lot. What do you guys think? I always want to use this finger to do my other lid, but I need to use this hand. Because I am able to apply the color just a little bit better when I'm using this hand here and this hand here, if that makes any sense. If I do this one over here, it just kind of messes it all up and it doesn't put it on right. And then I get it all underneath on my lower lash line. This is going to be a really simple look, I have a feeling. up a little bit. I got glitter all over the place. It's all over the place for reals. All right, now I think I might want to I got this set of Jet Graphic um, liquid liners when I ordered my mystery box and there's five different shades in there. I'm going to use this, I think it's crazy, it's CRZY crazy and I think it's like a blue, I can't really tell, it's kind of like a really dark blue. We're going to give this a try. I don't know if this is going to work out, but we're going to try. Okay, guys, I'm back. I tried. Is it perfect? Not by a long shot. It's something I plan on practicing because I really want to be able to use those liners. But I m more so got them for, like, I want to do fun, like, graphic looks, Halloween looks, like, more playful looks. Um, so now I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this 
E5 bling brush and I'm gonna tap back into Island Tune and I'm just gonna put that underneath my lower lash line. Okay guys, I went ahead and went into Resonant Rep, this color right here. These three are all shimmery, glittery shades. This is the only matte in this palette, which is, I mean, it's okay, I don't mind, but it would be nice to have like two mattes, two shimmers, I guess, for a little palette like this. But I used this bling brush and I just kind of tapped it over the um, Island Tune color. And I'm gonna go back to this bling brush and just kind of blend it out a little bit. I'm gonna be cleaning up glitter for days. This is gonna be a really basic look. I've used, what, three shades in the palette? That's not bad. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna use my Act Natural Defining Mascara Black ColourPop that I got in my mystery box. And we're gonna check this out and see how it works. I'm gonna alternate between this and my essence so I can make sure and use it before it gets dried out or gets yucky. Let's see how this goes. Okay guys, I'm back and I got the mascara on. Do I like it as much as my essence? No. Is it terrible? No. My favorite? No. I mean, it's not bad though. I might just need to like curl my lashes a little bit. Um, I don't know, but it works. All right, I'm gonna use this Super Shock Cheek in Seismic. I also got this in my mystery box. Look at that. Can you see that? Of course you can. I'm gonna use this. This is an AOA Studio E128 brush. I'm assuming this is a highlighter brush the way that it's shaped. At least that's what I would use this for. And I'm just gonna put a little bit in my highlight area. Just a real subtle glow. Get some on my nose. Ooh. A little bit on the cupid's bow. I feel like I'm a little off, you guys, today. And I feel like it's because all the crap, like, I really, I really, you guys, I really truly try not to watch the news. I try to stay away from it as much as possible because, to be honest with you, I kind of just, like, living in this little bubble that everything is just a-ok -okay, perfectly fine you know <laughs> but there's some scary stuff going on you guys i mean like i don't really know it's just i don't know i'm just tired of the whole covid thing and everybody just being at each other all the time like if you don't agree with them not getting vaccinated they get mad at you and then like it's just like it's crazy like if you don't want to get vaccinated don't get vaccinated but i don't know i guess i shouldn't get into it it's just it's just frustrating i just wish everybody would we're, we're all different we all have different beliefs and you can't be hating on each other like there's people that i'm friends with that 
like even my dad me and my dad disagree on a lot of stuff but I still love him like I'm not gonna be like rude to him or mean to him or hate him because he thinks differently than I do because he's a good dude I love my dad you know what I mean like I don't know if that makes sense but it just seems like people are hating on each other like there's more to people than political and religious and like look inside who the person is and as long as they're a good person like you gotta get past it like you're married to somebody for 50 years do you agree with everything that they do everything that they say everything that they think no you don't because you're not the same people you know what I mean like my grandma used to get irritated with my granddad she loved him to death you know but there was things that he did that you know what I mean? But they still loved each other. So I just don't understand why people can't. I don't have a black color pop liner, so I'm just gonna use my dark side Anastasia Beverly Hills that I got in my Busy Beauty Store PR box for my tight line. I don't know if that makes any sense, you guys, but that's just how I feel, you know? Like, I could disagree with somebody at work, you know, and we kind of have a heated, a heated debate, I guess you could say, but then the next day we're still like, or even later that day, we're still like talking to each other, you know what I mean? Just because we disagree doesn't mean that we're not good people, or just because we have different beliefs doesn't mean that we're not good people, and I just don't understand you know I have friends that we're probably not going to see eye to eye on everything but I still love them they're still amazing people you know what I mean we just have to focus on the things that we do agree on that we you know like makeup <laughs> we'll just focus on makeup and we'll stay away from the stuff that's going to bring you know heated conversations into it you know I'm going to use this cream gel liner and this is in Boots. And I got this in my ColourPop mystery box. And I'm gonna put that on. Oh, see, she shows up great. Look at that. Can you see the difference? I'm sure you can. I'm sure you can. This is what I'm talking about. I talked about this in a couple of my videos. This lid needs to fit but I don't know. I don't like, I don't, it's not that I don't like talking about politics or religion or whatever, but I have my beliefs and you have your beliefs and that's okay. We're still good people, you know, you might believe, you might not believe in God and I do and that's okay. You don't have to. I'm going to use this ColourPop would be pencil and this is in Ashton. I got this in my mystery box as well. But I don't know. I just wish everybody would get along and accept the differences between us and just concentrate on concentrate on what keeps you guys on the same page. Concentrate on what, you know, you get along on. So if you guys are like into photography, then concentrate on photography. And if it's makeup, concentrate on makeup. If it's a show, you know, like a lot of people like The Walking Dead. I don't, I've never really watched it, so... But like, you wanna to talk to me about friends or um, Big Bang Theory, <laughs> or Days of Our Lives, like, I'm your girl. Just stay away from stuff that's gonna make you be mean to people. You know what I mean? And sometimes when I talk about stuff with friends of mine and it kinda gets heated, I mean, it's whatever, you know, we like don't disagree on it, but um, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just very stern about how I feel like, and I'm just like, you're not going to change my mind. 
about how I feel. And I'm obviously not going to change your mind about how you feel. So let's just move on to a different subject. Okay, now I'm going to use this ColourPop lippy stick. And this is in the shade Poison. Poison. Dun, dun, dun. I might have used the wrong line, but that's okay. It's a pretty color. What do you guys think? kind of like it. Now I think I want to put a gloss on top of it. So I'm going to use this ultra glossy lip that I got in my mystery box. And this is in the shade My Forte because ColourPop is my forte. I'm just saying. And I'm not quite sure that I love this applicator. I think the spongy doe foods are a little bit better. This is a little bit s stiff, but I do like the color. So there you go. Am I forgetting anything? I feel like I'm forgetting something. I don't think so, though. I think that's everything. So, mostly a full face of ColourPop. We used ColourPop foundation and concealer. We used ColourPop mascara, eyeliner, uh, shadows, lippy. The only thing that we didn't use color pop was the bronzer and blush and the brows, right? Am I correct on that? Anyways, I'm gonna let you guys go. I hope that I made sense a little bit. I don't know. I just, things just feel weird these days, you know, and I don't like it. I don't like the way that it makes me feel. Uh, my anxiety is like, at an all-time high all the time and I'm just nervous about things and I, I don't like it you know I, I try to focus on the good stuff and try and avoid all the negative and hate and I just don't want to be around it you know what I mean I I just want like what everybody else wants I'm sure like I'm sure I'm not saying anything that isn't out there in the world that other people feel but I don't know I'm just feeling really weird lately and nervous and I don't know I'll get through it it's just one of those times where you kind of like feel unsure about the future and things that are happening in the world and between people and it's like they say can't we all just get along can't we all just get along and come together for the greater good I don't know so, I had a friend at work tell me I live in a fairy tale. So, you know, because I, I want love and romance and world peace or whatever. You know what I mean? I don't think that I live in a fairy tale world. I think it's possible. Is there evil in the world? Yes. Will there always be evil in the world? Yes, I'm sure there will be. But I don't know. I just feel like you got to surround yourself by good people and keep good juju in your life. But I'm going to stop ranting about stuff that probably doesn't make any sense to anybody. I don't even know if I'll post this video. I might refilm it. We'll see when I edit how it comes out. But I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you all for hanging out with me. I hope that you like the look. I hope you will all go over and check out Kat and say hi to her. Thank you, Kat, for another week. I love and adore you so much. I hope that you all have an amazing morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever time of day you're watching this. I hope you all take care and that you stay safe. And be kind to one another. And understand that if you're disagreeing with somebody on something and it's going to bring forth a heated conversation, then maybe change the subject so that it doesn't get so negative and everybody can stay in a good, happy place, if that makes sense. Anyways, I'm going to let you go. I love you all. Bye.